Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android 14 for our Samsung Galaxy S8. So, without wasting any more time, let's start. So, guys, this is the Lineage OS 21, which is based on Android 14, or you can call it as Android U, which is the Android upside down cake. Now, I don't know what an upside down cake is, but yeah, you can Google it, I guess. So, this is Android U, the latest uh, stable Android version. Uh, let's take a look here uh, into about phone and Android version 14. Uh, here as you can see Android 14 lineage OS version and this is the February build. Actually, uh, there is no new update available, but I hope the April update will soon come with the latest security patch. So yeah, you can uh, wait for that. I can install this. Uh, there is OTA. You can do it like that. Let's move into here the Android 14 and new press on the logo. You can see the animations like shooting stars but upwards and you will see this quick game which you can play so yeah this is the easter egg for android 14. so guys with lineage os 21 lineage has got a new boot animation which we are going to take a look at right now and see uh their old boot animation which was uh going on since ages is now been replaced by a new minimal and it looks really nice on our AMOLED device. I'm sure uh, if you have any AMOLED device or like this is the Samsung Galaxy S8 which we are reviewing right now. It looks really nice. The white glow and the black is totally black. So yeah, the boot animation looks killer. It's, it's fire. Now guys, taking a look at the home screen, as you can see, a new beautiful widget has been shown here. It looks really nice, clean. This is a transparent one. We also have a solid one with white background, but I love this one. It just blends with the wallpaper really nice because of the accent color thing which has been uh, totally dynamically present all over the system and also as you can see uh, this is the basic uh, uh, stuff here we also get the uh, power menu with a click uh, let's go back let's move into settings this is settings UI not much you know you won't get any uh, drastic change from Android 13 but yeah it's smooth I mean it's good as you can see this animation which was I guess on also present in Android 13 Then here we have the system and we have all the hard hardware button stuff uh, the keyboard on screen keyboard you can configure here then status bar and into status bar as you can see you get all the basic lineage features nothing new here uh, into gestures uh, as you can see we have this gesture swipe uh, fingerprint for uh, uh, notifications one handed mode uh, power and a hold button uh, it will access power menu and you can use it for digital assistant too. navigation mode i'm using it currently because i don't know why maybe by default but yeah you can use gesture navigation also uh, and uh, then yes it's just basic stuff and also we get a updater so we have a ot updater now this is not official lineage os official means it has been you know approved by lineage os but yeah this is unofficial build but still the developer has put on ota so big thanks to him uh for a really nice experience for updating it to the latest uh, updates let's take a look at more settings here if we move to battery you can see you have battery usage and this new uh, uh everyday uh battery usage you can check easily the screen time for wednesday thursday friday this is how you can easily check the screen time and it's really nice uh storage uh yeah it, it's same there is not much change in settings and all that stuff from Lineage OS uh, 20 to 21 and you can see all these uh, settings are basic Lineage OS settings and these settings you might not get on uh, the basic stock ROM some settings but the stock ROM has a lot of extra features which is exclusive to the Galaxy S8 so cannot complain anything so this was it uh, for the settings and all features available in here and as you can see this is the other apps available uh, not much apps some of them are uh, due to the G apps and whatever the variant I have chosen, and this is the camera, the snap camera, and the uh, newer snap camera looks nice. This was also present in Lineage OS 20, or maybe they have updated it afterwards into uh, like when the updates were of Lineage OS 20 were being rolled out. So in that period, they have uh, updated this and looks cool. But this is a basic camera. If you want full features, you can uh, get the G cam and get a full potential of your Samsung Galaxy S8 in 24, uh, 24. Sorry, I was saying 2014. Like I was going 10 years back. So yeah, this device was not 
even released in 2014. So that was it for this uh, quick look and short review of this Lineage OS 21 based on Android 14 for our Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus and Note 8 also. So yeah, missed it. So let's move to the uh, uh, installation now. Sorry for that. Uh, you have to power off first. Let's skip to the and no wait 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 after the device vibrates after the power off press the volume up button home and the big speaky all together this will boot into twrp so we have booted into twrp now the first thing you have to do is backup you can use twrp to backup just uh, connect it to your pc here's my pc connect to it copy the files whatever you need because all of that stuff is going or oh, not the file sorry the internal storage won't be wiped so don't worry but if you have something uh, related to the os files that you need then you have to take the separate backup from this app so these are the options you have to wipe so go to wipe swipe to wipe do not wipe internal storage or any other things now these are the two files i'm using I'm using need gapps only because I needed some apps. So, so first you have to flash uh, this. Add more zips, gapps. Boom. So let this process finish. Uh, I will just skip after it just gets done. And guys, as you can see, both uh, the gapps and lineage OS has been flashed. Now you just have to do one thing: is reboot system. If you want to install Magisk. Uh, I will uh, give the instructions down below in the uh, section. Uh, you can easily install matches uh, just adding the zip or maybe after boot you can add it. So yeah, let the lineage OS boot animation come then I will end the video and here it comes. So it means you have uh, successfully installed the lineage OS. Now guys make sure you uh, flash G apps uh, while uh, the lineage OS uh, like right after uh, lineage OS has been flashed and don't boot and then go back to GF or it might broke some things also guys the uh, updater uh, it supports uh, add-on script so if you have any extras other than uh, ROM and GApps like if you have any mods installed magic uh, modules installed it will be uh, really, really reliable to restore them like magic will uh, the add-on script will automatically restore everything and you will be at peace to not install those modules again so yep that's it for the video. If you guys really like the video, you have to press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Also put all the feedback down below in the comment section. I will wait for you, our comments and your uh, feedback, which is highly appreciated, which will improve uh, to me to make my videos. And sorry for the uh, delay in this, like uh, I put the S7 video like a month ago, like a lot of days, month plus two, three days ago. And uh, this is, like 30 35 days so it's a big difference so yeah i'll just try not to spoil uh, my consistency because it's already spoiled i have to review the uh, revive the channel back so yeah let's do god i'm making some uh, you know i'm making some ideas to make some new type of videos like not the regular ones the custom ROM reviews but comparing something and just a you know flashback kind of video uh, so yeah you will get all those uh, in the upcoming videos if i'm going to spoil it for you or you will just directly see the video notification and then watch it so that would be my <laughs> exit now to take your leave so goodbye guys see you guys in the next video bye bye